focus on it. All right, but so we're going we... to game one. Mm -hmm. uh, Tower of Heaven, Reno, Crag. Funny, I feel like I just watched this. Uh, <laughs> Deja Vu. Oh, boy. Dos Rogers, I feel like, might be a much tougher opponent against Soto this time. But... Uh, you know, let's see what uh, let's see what Soto's got. He he's been oh that's well he doesn't have three stocks. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, that's an unfortunate SD, but it's not like he can't come back from this. Yeah. Nice rock and, and, and the F smash. look at that. We're back to even. Okay, Soto's sick. That was really good. Something I really like that Soto's been doing well is he's covering recoveries in a way that he gets you with the best move for that situation. Like, if he sees you're going high, he'll catch oh, you with fair. the fair. Oh, speaking of fair. And that's going to do it. Ugh. Dang, cut me off. Yeah, same. Uh, Dos Rogers with a pretty good lead right now, up a whole stock. But uh, Soto's coming in fresh on this one. Got 52% so far. But now he's in a bad situation. All right, nice recovery off his own pillar and still saved it. So I feel like a lot of the problem that Seal Joe had last when uh, Soto was playing him is that he wasn't getting his edge guards. I feel like this is not an issue for Dos Rogers. Dos Rogers is getting those edge guards, and he's getting them very, very well. Yeah. And they're absolutely devastating him right now. Yeah, that rock right there looks like it actually saved him. He was really down low, but... Nah, he definitely could have made it back one way or another. Yeah. Uh, Rano has a lot more of a vertical recovery than a lot of people give him credit for. Yeah, if I remember that right, it looked like he still had his air dodge, so he was definitely going to... Oh. And that just happened. Two SDs. Dang. It's a best of five, uh, but he needs to win two sets if he wants to take this. Yeah. And that's the pressure for this matchup because... I know in this game, it's possible to play any character and be good and make it really far. But at the same time, matchups still have some way of affecting things. Absolutely. And Krag versus Rano is not a matchup that Krag is going to prefer. Rano harasses him. Rano's got a good combo game, but Krag's weight just makes him even easier to combo. And Absolutely. His, and his recovery, Rano can have fun with that as well. You got needles to break pillar. You can use the pillar for your side B movement as well. And if you fair him off to the side, if you get the spiker to push out, he's not he's gonna have trouble if he doesn't land again. Absolutely, and we're seeing another one of Rano's devastating combos. Look at that. And not that's even gonna do it. Zero to death. That's Look Rano in a nutshell. Friggin' beautiful. That skin. That skin is ideal he's wearing because he's got blood in his eyes. That man is hungry right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's got no fear. He's just going out there. He's doing it. He knows Rano's recovery. Can get him back regardless. And yeah. it looks like this might be it. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, he couldn't even get the wall jump out in time. Oh, that was terrible. And Absolutely devastating. All right. So Soto's going to have to do a lot of work here. He's already on loser's side, down a game, and now he's down on his last stock against three of Dos Rogers' stocks. He's got to do something quick. Yeah, I feel like Dos Rogers is just playing this particular matchup a lot better, uh, or just in a particular way that Soto's not prepared for. Uh, yeah. He's incredibly aggressive. He's getting his edge guards. And I feel like uh, Siegel Joe plays in a, a way that is incredibly neutral heavy, and... Uh, not, not very risky, but in this case, uh, it's very clear that that aggressiveness is allowing, uh, is allowing Dose to really just wreak havoc on him. Yeah. Soto managing to take out one stock though. We got a chance though. Back we not air. free. And that, I don't. He did land, so he got yeah. his pillar back. All right, and he makes it back to stage. And now we're getting something started here. Nice 24 for 10, 32. Good rock pull. Oh, that rock actually saved him. I'm pretty sure that would have killed had he not bounced off it. Maybe, yeah. I oh, that will. Yeah. All right, we're looking at a we're looking at a rough 3-0. Uh, yeah, they just blew through these games real quick. Soto is gonna have to pull an amazing reversal to even reset the bracket. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I I know that Soto's got the skill in him to do it. We yeah. just need to see him do it. That's really what it comes down to. If I were Soto, oh, yeah, this is a good stage to go for because Craig, he's a hit, he's a hard hitter. So if he gets a chance and catches Dose messing up anywhere, he can probably convert this to a stock. I, I'll be honest, I actually don't like this stage. Uh, if I'm a Craig, I feel like Craig can get comboed incredibly heavily off of the platforms, 
uh, more so than he can combo really anybody else because he's so heavy that you can just kind of step back onto the platforms and uh, just keep going. Yeah, and another possible problem for the stage with Crag is you're heavy, so you're going to be living long for a while. If you go to these smaller blast zones and you mess up, you're going to be dying sooner, and all that weight just means you're going to be dying quicker because of combos. Absolutely. Uh, I... Oh, okay. Well, but he manages to take the first stock. Nice up strong there, catching the platform movement, which was something I was going to say going into this next set because I had noticed those didn't ban uh, the Abyss. And I was thinking that Craig might want to go... Oh, that's a bad SD. But I was thinking Craig might want to go there because I noticed Dose uses a good amount of platform movement, and so that could, like, neutralize that and make him have to face him head on. Yeah, that's true. And I feel like... Uh, I feel like Endless Abyss is definitely a really good Craig stage. There's really not much you can do other than parry against Side B to contest it. Uh... Yeah. Rock throwing is a lot more effective because you have a whole lot more stage and less platforms to go to to defend yourself against it. Um, it's clear that Soto's comfortable on the stage, but my question is, is it enough? Yeah, well, this is Craig's home stage. He's got to defend his turf. Up smash, not going to kill just yet, not even Tipper. So he gets a second chance here. He's going to dodge that edge guard. Yeah, good avoidance. Not gets that one. Up, but got fair, racing out for him. Catches him. All right, this is... Oh, he's got him... Okay. He had him in a, a rock combo there briefly, but... Uh, yeah. Look, it's always dangerous when Craig gets caught with a rock in his hand. And that's kind of what I'm talking about with the platforms, is that they're so low, Craig gets knocked up onto them. Uh, you miss the tech, they're getting another hit, and they're extending the combo. Yeah, and Craig can't tech at all while holding a rock, so that makes them even more threatening. Okay. Ghost Rogers being incredibly aggressive with these edge guards. Nice parry. But he's not in. Oh, he what? He bounces off huh? of the pillar. That's unfortunate. But and that he still gets the it. kill. That was. I was so concerned for Soto right there. I thought that was going to be a good move gone wrong so fast. That was an excellent parry. Uh, he ends up getting the kill off of it, but uh, he's in an edge guard situation. This is not looking good. And that's it. That's going to do it. Ghost Rogers with the 3-0 victory over Soto. Congratulations.